Hello everybody, we're gonna introduce you to the loadout analysis using SAX. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to create your loadout analysis folder. Okay, then you're gonna copy these three files from your static analysis folder. And <clears throat> this for this file here is just the final the final model we're gonna create today. I'm gonna show you just for you to have an idea of what we are going to do. Let's open up the file just dragging it to the model icon. Okay, here's our jacket. It's that's the final position for the loadout. There are no deck structure no piles, no conductors, there are some supports here, you can see, okay, we have some joint here. This joint, this line of joints represents the contact of the supports with the barge, okay, well, let's close this and start work so first open up the sac ink model file here's the static analysis model file and that we are going to modify first of all you have to go to display group Select some groups here, the conductors, the legs at, of the deck structure, the piles, and the deck pins. Right? Choose include and apply. Okay. Now we can close this. Uh, here's Everything we're going to delete, go to member, delete, screen, and apply. Go back to display and reset the view. So here you can see there are some structures here. Let's go back to member, delete. Now drag a window only for these members and click apply now let's get rid of these joints go to joint delete specific joint so if you not check this box you can just choose a screen highlight all of the all of the joints and then apply it's gonna delete only the joints that are not connected Here it is. This is our jacket. But there are some information here we need to delete. Go to weight, surface definition, and let's delete all of them. Let's check. If it, oh, this one was missing. Good. And now, the footprint weight. Let's search for the equipment loading. Go to footprint ID and delete all of them. Skid one, skid two, three, four, and check if the list is empty. Okay, I can close now and go ahead now it's time to put the jacket in the right position go to joint translate rotate select the translation 11 meters in Z 
and rotate about y minus 90 degrees. Have to just select the joints, go to the screen, and then apply. So it's still not at the right position. We need to rotate about z axis. So let's delete the translation. The z. 108 degrees. Here's the jacket in the right position and after that we're gonna create the the joints for the supports and then the members. First let's use the volume. At the Z coordinate just type 3.5 meters at the maximum so it make it easier to work with with the bottom face okay let's label the joints just to just to, to see what numbers we are going to use this one is associated to C101 this one C103 and so on. So now we can go to joint relative. Type the number. Let's start from C11 and relative Z minus 1.75 and the reference joint 101 L and apply. Now for the 103 and can do for all of them and 403, right? Let's take a look at the structure, check if it's that correct. Oh, there's something missing here. The D, the D401 is missing. Let's go back to Let's pick up the reference joint first and 401 and Z then apply there it is so now, now it's okay let's create the members go to member add a group labor you can choose can Let's check this box add immediately so we don't have to push the apply button over and over and over. Now we can create the members. Close. Let's see a solid view. Oh, there are no properties yet. Uh, we can go to property member group can add the group can and the group type gonna pick the tubular choose four centimeters and here also And I'm gonna type the properties is seventy six point two and the wall thickness is two point fifty four and then apply. There it is. Now you can see the the properties were defined. Okay. So let's go back to our jacket go to display active isometric and reset volume here's the jacket there are some steps to do here first we have to change some definitions let's take a look at the local axis and 
go to member member properties let's talk about this member so as you can see the member the flex the bending is about the z axis okay so we have to change from the qy to qz so i have to to make it for all of the members uh it's a, a little bit boring to do that i'm not going to do that so i'm not gonna make you get bored but when you do your analysis you have to change now let's go back to the new joints we created new members and joints at first let's take a look at the member as you can see there there is an overlap uh, between the brace and the cord there is no offset here like there is here so let's create the offsets go to member offsets and let's select oops. let's select the member hold the control key And here we're gonna change to global and Z offset in joint B, which is the the final joint. We're gonna use minus six to one point six and then apply. So as we you can see now there there is an offset here. Let's check how it is. So the brace is stopping at the, the face of the cord. That's correct. Okay, for all of them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.